Welcome to Second Grade Symmetry Masks with Mrs. King. The goal of this project is to create a symmetrical paper mask design. We will work through this project over a few class periods. At the end of this project, you should be able to say, I can create a symmetrical design using line and pattern. This is the example that I created. Notice how my design is the same on both sides, like a mirror image. That is symmetry. Think of other shapes that you know of that also might have symmetry. If you thought about a circle, you were right. How about a square? Yes, that one too. Let's get started. You will need a piece of black construction paper, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and some light colored crayons, like a white crayon. Eventually, I will give you some construction paper crayons that you'll be able to use to add your patterns and colors. Our first step is to take our piece of black paper and fold it in half, hot dog style. That means we will make our paper long and skinny. If we fold it hamburger style, our paper will look wide. So make sure your paper looks like mine. The next step is to draw three dots. The first dot is going to be in the upper corner right next to the fold. Make sure you know where the fold is or you might just end up with a bunch of pieces of cut paper when we're done. This is where my first dot goes. My second dot is going to go on the same side of the paper, but on the opposite edge, right in the middle. My third and final dot will go at the bottom edge, right along the fold, just like the first one. Here's why I wanted you to draw the dots. They will help us to figure out where we need to draw our lines, which will eventually help us create our symmetrical shape. You're gonna draw a line from your first dot to your second. Make it a fun and interesting line and use the space on your paper wisely. Notice how my line goes out and then down to meet that second dot, just like that. Now draw a line from your second dot to your third. This will be the bottom half of your mask. Keep your paper folded and use your scissors to cut along the line that you just drew. As long as your paper stays folded, you will be cutting through both sides of your paper, which will give you a symmetrical design. Take your time, work slowly and carefully. There's no need to hurry. This is what my design looks like after I cut it out. I have not opened it yet though. Let's see what it's gonna look like. Voila, do I have symmetry? Yes, I do. My design looks like the same thing on both sides of that fold. This fold right here, by the way, splits your shape right in half. We call that the line of symmetry. Fold your shape in half again on the line of symmetry and let's draw a line. Make sure that the line you draw starts and stops on the line of symmetry. Otherwise, this will be difficult to cut. Keep your paper folded and go ahead and cut out that shape that you just drew. This next part's a little bit tricky, so watch the directions and follow along very carefully. You're going to fold your mask down at the top just a little bit. We want to be able to cut into the mask without actually having to destroy it. While your mask is folded in this way, go ahead and draw half of an eye shape that starts and stops on the area that's creased or folded. This right here is the area that's creased or folded. And notice how I drew what looks like a rising sun or a half circle from that line. Here's what it looks like if I unfold the paper, but we're gonna need to keep it folded. Otherwise, we won't be able to cut the eye out as we'd like. While the paper's folded, carefully use your scissors and cut along this line that you just drew. Take your time. Once you finish cutting that out, you can open up your mask design and see what it looks like. Look at that, there's the eye right in the middle of my paper. And let's open it up a little bit more and see what the rest of our design looks like. All right, here's my design. Did I succeed? Do I have symmetry? Yes, I do, yay! But now the fun part really gets to happen. But the fun can't happen until I at least write my name on here. Notice that I write my name on the same side as where my pencil or crayon marks already are. This side of the paper is not going to be visible when we're done with the project. So this is where you should write your name. Now go ahead and flip your design over and see the clean side of your paper. Now take the construction paper crayons that you will be borrowing from me 
and I would pick a color that you like and draw a line right down the middle. Go ahead and draw it right down the crease. It will help you to draw as straight a line as possible. This line will help you to remember that you have two sides to your design to work with now. Notice how I did a little drawing over the eye on the right side. If I do something on one side, I need to do the exact same thing on the other in order to keep my symmetry balanced. So there it is. I drew the same curved line above the other eye. They're not exactly the same, but I'm not a robot, so I can't make them perfect. I just do my best. I will continue adding other details, one dot or line or squiggle at a time. What I do on one side of my mask, I need to do on the other. I find it's best if I only do one little thing at a time. It makes my job a lot easier and it helps me to remember what I need to do next. I'll start adding little details as I go on, making sure to stay symmetrical with every step of my design. Starting on one side and then doing the same thing on the other. Again, if you follow these steps, you will have a symmetrical design that will not look just like mine. It will be yours. But if you have symmetry, it will look balanced, exciting, and really, really cool. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Remember, take your time, work slowly and carefully, and know that this does not have to get done quickly. The first person finished in art hardly ever wins. You want to be careful, thoughtful, and well planned out. I can't wait to see what you do. Have fun! Don't forget, when you're done today, put your artwork in your folder so we can take a look at it and keep working on it next week. If your artwork is all finished, then I will collect it and we will talk about it as a group.